In this video, we will look at Ex Libris Primo. I will talk about some advantages and limitations I've discovered and show it in action. Ex Libris Primo is one I had to do a little bit more research on as none of the organizations I have been involved was were considering this as their solution. But from what I understand and what I've discovered, it is built upon existing cataloging technologies, unlike the other discovery services we looked at, which are more designed on the database platform. It is publisher neutral. One of the limitations I've heard of was earlier in this year, Ex Libris had trouble getting some of the content from one of the other discovery layer discovery service companies, which is also a publisher. One thing you will have to dis decide upon while looking at Ex Libris Primo is how does it integrate with your existing cataloging system. Let's now look at a live version of Ex Libris. I was able to go to Boston University's website to see their discovery service in action. So I'm going to try a simple search as I have done with the other discovery services. And you'll see the format is, is very similar to the other services. Uh, down the left hand side we have the facets. Uh, a unique one that I see here that the others didn't have is to include Flickr images. That would be a neat addition if you're preparing for a, a presentation and you needed some images. The other facets are pretty standard except for not all the discovery services let you define it by collection so this would be the database or other source where the information came from and also Ex Libris at the bottom of the facet column gives you suggested searches uh, based on the term you provided and the authors that come back often with the terms you gave. Another nice feature is you can share items you discover on your Facebook account which we know that social sharing is very popular. It does have some facets that they've removed from the left hand bar and put them across the top which is a little unusual and actually the first few times I looked at this platform I missed it. This is where you can limit to the peer reviewed full text and available in the library. If I click on more information for these items it'll bring up a box containing additional information and depending on the source where it comes from the information will vary. View two versions means when it gathered the things in the index from two unique sources it had the same item and it groups them together like this so it doesn't look like you have more items but you have this the opportunity to locate the full text potentially at two different places. Since I'm not part of Boston University I can't click through and show that in action.